How's it going today, everybody? I am the Bridge Too Far with part three of Subnautica. I'm uh, doing another late night stream. Just got out of work after a 12 hour shift, so probably won't be streaming for a very long time, but this game's a lot of fun. Been having a good time, so gonna keep on cranking. Uh, last we left off, we built a base. Another base that was better than our last one, but we'll just get into it. It wasn't everything I hoped and dreamed that it would be, but it's better than the one we had. I still don't know how to fit a bioreactor in it, so I'm gonna have to figure that out, and we gotta farm up like more parts than. I don't know. We just need every type of conceivable resource to build stuff, so we just gotta get more stuff. I should probably also answer the radio at some point, but I don't really want to. Um. So I started building this base because the other one didn't have enough room. Welcome aboard, Captain. This thing is flipping enormous. What is the largest structure I can make? Multi-purpose room. Oh, so I don't know how to make that yet. Okay, so that's the largest room that you can make with the base. I actually tried to look up how to make fit a bioreactor because I was very confused. Okay, so I don't have the parts that I need yet for that. So I won't stress about that. I think I need anything else. Poodle Alley. Okay, my inventory is full. I think I want to just keep two bases. I'll just use this one as like a de facto storage locker, I guess. I think I should just rename this locker Titanium. Yeah. Trying to come up with a better filing system because I know if I don't come up with a good one now, I'm going to hate myself later. So let's. silver and copper. I'll just stick all the gold, silver, and copper I have in here. I 
Okay, I'm assuming lithium and diamonds are in that shale mineral deposit stuff. Makes the most sense to me. Miscellaneous metal. Poster on the ceiling. Is that a thing? Apparently not. Okay. okay let's save because I don't want to do that menuing again. Something I hadn't thought of is the rebreather and the sea glide take up a ton of inventory space. So maybe I don't need both of them. Like, especially if I'm taking the sea moth out, I probably don't need the sea glide. Make a gear locker. And stick some stuff in it. Um I think I'll keep the mask and just ditch everything else. I'll definitely keep the batteries. It's like, it's so hard to give up any of these things because I might need them. I definitely don't need the poster. <laughs> the poster can go in there. And then we'll dump the lube. Yeah, that's a, that's a ton of inventory space freed up. Alright. can map out the seafloor. I don't know how crazy I want to get with this, but I could probably even build beacons just as, like, navigational buoys. Because it seems like I end up getting kind of lost. Like, I'll pick a direction and travel in it for a while, and then I'll kind of end up in the same place over and over again. Now, I think I can go into the deep sea cave. So maybe that's worth, that might be worth exploring. Oh, Jesus Christ. Please tell me I didn't break that. I hope I didn't break that. It looks fine. Okay, let's see how deep I can get into here. Before I die. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ooh, shale. I do like shale. Oxygen 
passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, so I need special mining equipment to break the really big deposits. Possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Oh yeah, it looks like somebody built a base down here, but it's abandoned. Did you not, dickhead? Ooh, I got diamond. Jelly shroom. So we're probably just going to be hopping in and out of the sea mouth just for oxygen refills. Ah, multi-purpose room. I like the sound of that. Beautiful. Love it. That sounded scary. Stasis rifle fragment. Uh, hey, buddy. You want to stop eating my ship, dickhead? Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh... Oh! Look, I'm just trying to scan you, dude. You are actually probably going to kill me, huh? I'll leave you alone. You seem mad. 30 seconds. Also, where did my ship go? That's not good. I think I died to a plant. You died and lost some of your belongings. You mean all of my belongings? Can I? Hold on. So I can save, but I can't load. Oh my god. Dude. Not having save states is like the biggest pain in the balls. Wait, did I lose my ship? Like the sea mouth is just gone. Because I died. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. That's a little punishing. Well, we're gonna see if we can get that back. I don't know if I keep blueprints or not. Okay, it's still there. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Dude, I just wish I had a gun so I could shoot this. Passing two hundred meters. Did you just destroy my ship? What the fuck, dude? Are you serious? So the game auto saves when you die, also. Sick. Wait, auto save to have it. What? Uh, dude, I'm so confused. Okay, so saving and quitting saved my sea glide from being destroyed. 
why? Also, why did it bring it back here? Like, what? <laughs> the save and loading system in this game doesn't make any sense at all. Welcome aboard, Captain. Do I have the... Okay, I don't have the blueprint for the multi-purpose room. Does it load an... Okay, hold on. Maybe it loads an autosave... Maybe it has an internal autosave system that it will return you to if you die, but if you quit the game, it will reload to your last manual save? I think? Because this seems like it was before the expedition I just went on. Which is fine. Like, I'm happy with that. I can just go redo what I did. This is very bizarre. Welcome aboard, Captain. And we'll leave the tiger eel alone. Wait, where's my buoy marker? Is it just gone? Oh, there it is. Some of these, they're kind of hard to see sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Oh, man. I found a lot of goodies in this cave. I kind of want to try and keep them, you know? What the hell? It's like, I don't even care if crafting weapons is expensive. I just wish I could craft something and, like kill these sea animals permanently. Past right. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Okay, water filtration system, multi-purpose room. Have I saved all those down here? I don't think I have. Dude, there's so much stuff to get blueprints of. Okay, 50% on a power cell. Stasis rifle fragment? Yep. Oh. Okay, 50% on the stasis rifle. Is that broken? That looks broken to me. Can I break that more? Oh, it look like it. PDA in there, so there's definitely some way to get in here. Spotlight? Ooh. Fancy. Pecking order PDA. Thermal plant fragment. Okay, drooping stinger is what killed me last time. Definitely leave that alone. Yeah. It seems like, hopefully, I don't know if I'm just lucky, but it seems like if I park my ship in places where it's inconvenient for their Leviathan AI to get to, then they'll leave me alone. Okay, so I have to figure out how to get into this base. Doesn't seem like any of the hatches are working. Oh, 
Do, I wonder... Okay, I'm thinking I either need a laser cutter to break into the base, or maybe I need to bring it, like, restore power to it? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. It seems like there's enough holes in the base I should be able to just get into it. Just smash a window real quick. Oh, okay. This is just totally ripped open. Cool. Definitely need to watch my oxygen levels in here. Integrating new PDA data. Why am I why am I caught? Oh no, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, I'm gonna try to get into the far room. It's probably not gonna go well. Uh Observatory. Ooh. Wow, that takes a long time to scan. Okay, I'm gonna be up to B. Oh no, I can't get stuck on my way out. I'm gonna die. Please don't kill me. Oh, starfire! Really hoping every time I save it, it actually saves my progress. Uh, what's up here? Oh, it's the same place. Hey, okay. Never mind. So. Basic double bed. Okay, cool. Wow, those things kill me so fast. Okay, so if I quit and load, I should be in the Seamoth down there, hopefully. Passing 100 meters. Emergency power Oxygen production offline. Passing 200 meters. Perfect. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, cool. I understand how the saving and loading system in the game works now. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a little touch and go there for a minute. What is this thing? I apparently already scanned it, whatever it is. I already go up here? I feel like I didn't go up here though. Oh, there's there is a PDA up here, okay. Integrating new data. I got so freaking lost in here, it's stupid. Dude, if I touch those things they kill me. Uh
passing 100 meters. Emergency power Oxygen only. Oxygen. Oxygen production offline. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Me, 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 me. This game is just exploiting the fact that I'm not used to using keyboard and mouse controls. And I, my character loves to get clipped and stuck on walls, too. Welcome aboard, Captain. need a double bit, but you never know. Of goodies now. Ooh. So I have a stasis rifle. New blueprint acquired. I like the sound of that. Okay, so getting a blueprint of something you already have just gives you titanium. I'm gonna go save and then attempt to kill myself. And by that I mean explore this cavern further. I guess, not really attempt to kill myself, it's just sort of a happy accident. It just tends to happen a lot, you know? <laughs> it's like my character in Dying is like, uh, I don't know. Like peanut butter and chocolate, honestly. It's a dynamic duo. Warning, maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Hull damage imminent? Excuse me. Okay, so if I park at the bottom, it's hull damage a minute. But if I park it up there, it's fine. So, hold up. It'll damage the hull of the ship that I'm in, but it won't damage me in my little swimmy suit? I have questions. I have questions that probably aren't going to be answered. Diamonds are forever. Okay, I'm liking the precious minerals down here. This is very nice. Can't even tell if it's day or night outside. When you're this deep, it doesn't even matter. I 
think I'm happy with how much I've explored this cavern. I think. Uh, I don't know, it's a pretty big ass cavern, honestly. There's probably more to see. Okay, that's where the jerk eel fish bitey dude is that killed me, so I'll leave him alone. He's probably had a long, hard day of being a scumbag. grow everywhere down here. more diamond than I should have. Seems like it's not a very rare commodity down here. I don't think I even want that, but you never know. Yeah, I definitely don't want that. That's so much inventory space. Okay, don't piss off Lizard Boy. Let's consider that a successful run and get the hell out of here. If I can find the exit to this cave. Let's see, it was directly above the base, so if I can find the base, I'm golden. Yeah, this cave is even larger than I expected. Is it over here? Oh, there's a lot of these boys. Please don't eat me, I just want to leave. Where am I? 
Oh my god, I'm so lost. Okay, still at 76% power, 63% hull integrity. Something over here. More supply crates? going on over here how on earth did I get this lost welcome aboard captain did I go even deeper it's like volcanic geysers my god Okay, the buoy, or er, no, the buoy marker's over there, so I would think it's directly above the way I got out. That being said, the hell's up here? some stuff. Stasis rifle. Freezes physical objects in place. But I need a computer chip. Sure. Let me find cave sulfur to make a laser rifle. Okay. Should keep an eye out for that. So after that, the only thing I don't know how to make is a propulsion cannon. Why have I still not made a compass? <laughs> uh, I can make enameled glass with a stalk or two. Okay. Oh. How do I kill a stalker? Like, can I just freeze it in place with a rifle and then just, like, stab the hell out of it? Steel ingot. Ultra strong synthetic construction material. Okay, so I just need some copper. So. I love how I didn't find any copper. I just found like tons of gold and diamonds. And 
whatever the hell magnetite is. The solution to everything is always more storage lockers. Precious metals that are even more precious than silver and gold. Okay, so I still just need to find a ton of copper to make a compass. Oh. Uh, and then I can do like base building stuff. Uh, I can do base building stuff over there. What do I need? Okay, I need titanium and lubricant to build a bioreactor. Build a water filtration machine. Turn seawater into water and salt. Don't know how to build a nuclear reactor. Uh, I can make a bed. No sleep till Brooklyn. Okay, I can make a multi purpose room. Which requires six titanium. See if we can attach that to something. Um, I was kind of hoping to be able to attach this somehow. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 yeah, that. Yeah, let's do that. I like this. Nice. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Welcome the aboard, as Captain, but never forget that it is not. Treat the space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Understood. Three titanium and a thing of lubricant, and we can make a bioreactor. I like the sound of bioreactors. I should probably address the fact that I'm almost dead at some point. Ah, it's effort. It was titanium and lead. Ha! Ah, finally, <laughs> I can build this damn thing. Oh my god. Reliable power source is a critical step towards self sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. Okay. You got a creepy lady. Use bioreactor charge. Composts organic material into energy. cell charger can simultaneously charge multiple power cells. How do I find... I have to find Ruby? <laughs> Ruby? Uh, uh, 
Oh, I should make a sign for my base at some point. Power, 75 out of 575? Does that mean I'm using? I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad. Is the number on the right available power or power needed? Because <laughs> that's kind of important. <laughs> Anyways. Um, dude, I just never have enough copper. Yeah, if I could get a rechargeable battery station, that would be fantastic. And I'm assuming at some point I could get, like, plant growing stations set up in my base. So I can feed them into the bioreactor so that I can charge the base. Because that sounds nice to me. Captain. I'm pretty glad this thing has a long battery life, it seems. Okay, I actually should probably read that radio message at some point. Sunbeam? You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. That only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be for it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Nice. I like the sound of that. Oh good, I can find a countertop. Critically important. Really glad the scanner doesn't have a, a battery. So can I just, like, catch a fish and eat it? Because I've never really figured out how to eat a fish. Okay. How do I eat it? Like, like, eat it, though. an edible fish. Okay, I would like to eat it. How do I do that? Do I have to be somewhere where I can take my helmet off? I don't understand, dude.
Do I have to cook it first? Do I have to take my helmet off? <laughs> I don't get it. Wait, did I? Oh my god, dude, I'm so stupid. Did I not have the deep diving helmet on the entire time? I had the radiation helmet on? Oh man, I'm so dumb. Well, now I know. I may never know how to eat a fish, but... At least we have that going. Also, where'd my ship go? There we go. Alright, I'm gonna head back to base and save and call it for the night. I am very tired, but... Hey, we made some really good progress. We checked out a deep sea cave. Got a bunch of precious minerals. Got a bunch of... Got a bunch of new blueprints to mess around with, so... Yeah. Call that a successful... Successful after work mini stream.